And uh, there's me. There's myself. Can I? <laughs> oh my gosh. I summoned a flower in my leg. <laughs> Oh, okay. What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're using a mod to play as Daisy. That's right. Daisy is an elusive character. She is, I think, what Bunzo was supposed to be. But I think they removed her from the game, so she's pretty much lost forever. She is a forgotten toy now. But we now can play as her. This episode is really cool. I asked Kokosko if we could play as Daisy, and he went all out. I think he added Daisy to the game. He added um, some like special powers and it all starts with this new flower pot and it's so tiny. It almost looks like a thumbtack, but he said if you go up to it and you just interact with it, you just become Daisy. You grow out of this flower pot. So let's see in three, two, one. No, oh, no. Oh, okay. 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 Whoa, I'm so blown away at how Kokosko can make mods and I just have two leaf hands. It's so adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can crawl around. It's so adorable. My two little leaf hands. So I, I think that there are new powers, so I'm gonna try to discover them. I'm gonna, oh, I left clicked and it summons flowers. And uh, there's me, there's myself. Can I, <laughs> oh my gosh, I summoned a flower in my leg. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, I guess it's not my leg anymore. I'm I'm playing as Daisy. So we have begun our journey as a new character, and our main goal is to break everything. <laughs> you see, if we look at this place, Daisy is a rejected toy. She's actually a rejected concept, right? Because Bunzo took over what Daisy was supposed to be, so I think we want revenge. All right, so can I summon flowers enough to break the game? Do you think that's even possible? Like if I click everywhere, does it summon enough flowers that you think it would lag out the game? Now, this is not the only power. I think there's a couple other ones. Um, I think if we press G, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, I think that makes us grow a little taller. Oh. Oh yeah, it's almost like a little upgrade. Okay, all right, so we're barely starting and I already have a meadow of, uh, what is it, plants here? Are these like my kids? Because <laughs> if I'm a plant and I'm planting plants, are these like my children? I'm like, hello, children, hi. <laughs> I feel like it's such a weird concept. <laughs> oh, wow. But you know what's really cool? We can like use this to kind of like platform the new areas. Hold on. Can I build a super tall, uh, what is it? Flower right on top of it. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I have defied logic and I have somehow planted plants inside of plants. I feel like, um, that should be like an achievement. <laughs> All right, so with the ability to grow and the ability to plant new flowers, I feel like it's Daisy. We're really taking on the role. I think there's one more thing and I really, I, I hope it actually is in the game. I said, what if you could cause like rain and thunder and it would like break mommy long legs and huggy luggy and everything. And I think he told me C. So I'm excited to see. Oh, I'm excited to see. You press C and you see. So let's see what rain and thunder looks like in three, two, one, boom. Oh, oh my gosh, it's raining inside. How is this even possible? Whoa, it is so beautiful. It is raining, little rain particles. Everything is amazing. I don't know how this, oh gosh. That was thunder and lightning and everything. And I, I, I feel like that hit me. Oh gosh. Okay, this is a little bit scarier than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, it's so beautiful though. I mean, look at this. Uh, I don't know how it affects. Oh gosh, I don't know how it affects um, Mommy Longlegs, but uh, let's see. So I have disabled the rain. Let's spawn in Mommy Longlegs and Huggy Wuggy. I feel like if you think about this, we have come so far from the original game. I mean, the original game, you're supposed to be scared of Mommy Longlegs. Now I'm literally bringing her into this area. Now, not only that, we're bringing in Huggy Wuggy who doesn't even belong in this chapter. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. He's looking up at me like, Wait, what was that supposed to mean? I'm like, sorry, man, here, here. You wanna, you wanna flower? <laughs> here, hold on. Here's a flower. <laughs> you can just grow. Oh, oh gosh, that looks painful. <laughs> if he turns his head, oh, okay. Now the flower's in your eye. I'm sorry. All right. Well, uh, Kokosko said that the rain and thunder will affect them. Let's see what happens. All right. So I summoned some light so that we could see it a little bit better. I can see the flowers now move down to his mouth. Uh, but let's see what happens in three, two, one. Boom. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're just, they're just spinning <laughs> around. Okay. Uh, 
I I feel like this is almost like a little bit of a torture method. It looks like they're like uncontrollably just like just being forced to spin. She's literally just like. I'm sorry, it must be done. This is my revenge. I'm also gonna plant a bunch of plants here. And hold on, can I can I grow to be like a super giant? I feel like this is insane. The fact that like. Every single episode, we end up just getting new superpowers. How many have we gotten so far? I mean, when we were playing PJ Pugapillar, we got the ability to walk on walls. When we were playing as Daisy, we, oh, I, I could be, gosh, I could become a giant. I could summon thunder. I'm like Thor. I guess this is the most powerful one because if I could just summon like rain and thunder, oh gosh, even when I turn it off, they can't stop spinning. But I mean, I feel like, I feel like Daisy is like the most powerful character character so far. <clears throat> Welcome to the meeting of Daisy. I am in charge here and I lead this entire new area. You see, Mommy Longlegs was in charge before, but now it is me. You see, if you ever have a problem with me, I will summon <laughs> rain and flowers, <laughs> which all sounds weird out of context, but let me tell you, it's powerful. It is very powerful. Uh, this little red button, it, uh, it needs a flower. Let's just get, <laughs> oh gosh, it turned red. Oh gosh, okay, so with all of these flowers, geez, okay. Um, we can get some powerful things. Now, I wonder if I can go to different parts of the game and essentially break it. So I'm gonna waddle my way on over to the the tube huggy wuggies area. I feel like everybody's been asking recently too for friendly huggy wuggies. And I think with this mod and the Mommy Long Legs mod and the PJ Pugapillar, any playing as mod, we're essentially turning them friendly because I don't think that they can like target us. We literally walk in and we're like, hey, we're not the player. Just so you know, I'm like, hey, don't attack me. I'm a toy like you guys. Okay, so here we go. We have now walked into the new area and I think we're good. So while this is all explaining everything, I'm just gonna summon a bunch of flowers everywhere. Hold on. Whoa, I wonder if I could block off entrances with flowers. That would be an insane way to beat this. Hold on, hold on, let me see. All right, I'm summoning a bunch of flowers. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, let's go. All right, so the game has just started. I wonder if Daisy will actually ever really be in the game. Uh, chapter three, I feel like everybody doesn't like, no, or like nobody knows what it's gonna consist of. And when you think that it's about like prototype, uh, what is it? Oh man, I already forgot, like prototype a thousand something. Um, that new prototype is the main lead, but there's no other like new toys leaked yet. All right, so while we're talking, all of these new huggy wuggies have now started yelling at us. Can we put a flower on his head? Oh, there we go, here. Oh. So they're trying to attack, but they can't. Oh man, the game is getting a little bit laggy. I've summoned way too many flowers. Now, hold on. I'm gonna make it rain as well, causing everything to... Oh wait, I don't think they get glitched because they're not Huggy Wuggy, they're different. But it does feel very powerful. It's almost like they're staring at me. Oh, this one actually is his his neck broke. Uh, he's not really staring at me. He's staring at the flowers. But it's like I walked in. I summoned a bunch of flowers, rain and thunder. Gosh, that was perfect timing. And then they all kind of are just standing there like, uh -huh. you see, I could be like, hey, I'm the new leader here. You, you see Mama Long Legs up there? Yeah, she's not the leader anymore. It's me. Daisy. It's like the power has already gone to my head already. I've become, have I become the villain? Wow. No, um, I think it is very creepy that all of their heads are turned backwards now. Uh, that's kind of creeping me out. I'm like, hey, look at me. I'm right here. Here, here's a flower. Here, have the flower. I think I've grown too big to even go to new areas. I... I guess I can't be this big. All right, so I had to restart the game because it was broken, but I, I went to a different save where I can now go to the PJ Pug Pillar area. So let's go over, let's become uh, Daisy here. And actually, let's kind of stay small. I feel like being small has its advantages. We can just walk our way on over here and we can check out the new area. <laughs> Go into PPJ. All right, so I had, to, I had to go back and get my actual player body in order to open up the thing. And then I had to go back that way to turn into Daisy again. But now I'm walking back and it still looks so adorable because I'm crawling forward. 
Oh, wait. But I just noticed I have to bring the player over here in order for it to begin. It's weird. I have to go over here now and select this to bring the player this way. See, now I'm moving the player. And I think there we go. The thing is moving. Oh, this is so cool to play from this perspective. I'm just walking over. Hey. Yes, I, I, I'm feeling welcome. Yes. <laughs> like, hey, are you listening? You got to pay attention. BJ Pugapillar is coming for you. Here, I'm going to plant him some flowers so that when he gets here, he'll be happy and he won't be mad. All right, so the game is beginning. PJ's over there just kind of staring at us. It looks so adorable. I'm just, I'm so impressed with how adorable they made a scary looking character. All right, so while Mommy Longlegs was complaining about everything, I am now summoning a bunch of flowers. PJ is now just standing there. Hold on, I don't think I activated the, the thing. Hold on, I have to make PJ friendly. Hold on, there we go. Oh gosh, that was actually really close or else he would have just attacked the player, I think. Okay, but now we can stand right here next to PJ. I can barely even see him. Oh, that's way too bright, okay. But again, whenever we play as a different character and go to the PJ Pugapillar area, I have to say PJ out of all the characters looks the most confused. He is literally his whole goal is like attack the player. But then when he can't, he's like, but why? Wait, he just, he left. No, come back. Hold on. Wait for me. We're going to hang out together. Oh man, I'm so tiny. I can't do anything. Hold on. Maybe I could summon flowers to get me up. There we go. This is really cool. It's, oh gosh, it's so dark. I'm just summoning flowers to get me to walk over areas. No, okay. Can I do it? I'm like, PJ, wait for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, my tiny little hands. Oh, I got stuck. Hold on. I have to look down now and like plant flowers. It's so bright when I use the flashlight. All right. So we're going to move forward. We're going to say hi to him. All right. And we're just going <laughs> to use our flowers to get to the next areas. All right. And I think that we could just walk over the top. Nope. Um, apparently, we can't walk over the top. There's like an invisible wall. I see my friend PJ over there and I can't even hang out with him. What's the point of playing as Daisy now? So we've reached a sad point in our journey where we realize that maybe even our flowers won't make us enough friends. We are now distanced from everybody. Mommy long legs, huggy wuggy. They can't be our friends because we summon thunder. And oh man, this looks like a really cool shot. It almost feels like a film scene, right? Like, you know, in the darkness. It feels like we could just tell a sad story to this. But no one can be our friends. Everybody is our enemies. We may have all of the power in uh, controlling the weather and controlling how nature works. But will it be enough? All right, so here we are. We're in the ending. It took me a long time to actually move this, but I got the flower pot right here. So I think if I interact with it, yep, I become Daisy. All right. And then, uh, what is it? If I interact again, all right, I could become the player, which means I can activate the ending like this. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think that at a certain point, it makes Mommy Longlegs run here, right? Oh, wait. Whoa. She's not even running. I don't know if I glitched the game out entirely, but because I became Daisy for a second, Mommy Longlegs was like, I am not coming over there. She didn't even walk. No way. I'm so confused. I almost want to try again. There's no Mommy Longlegs. She just decided not to show up. All right. So here we are again. I have the flower pot. Will it start up? Nope. Yo, it, she doesn't even show up anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, can I deactivate it? What is going on? Is Mommy Longlegs just deleted from the game? I'm so confused. It, it's as if she's just... She's just left. I feel like this is the craziest way that that the, the, the playing as like a character mod has ended. I've never seen a character get scared. Almost. It really truly feels like Mommy Longlegs is almost like grown life. She could like think and she's like, you know what? Daisy, she could just mess with me for eternity and make me spin some in thunder. Okay, well, we have discovered now that Daisy is the most powerful character in the entire game. Probably not really, but that is really cool. All right, well, um, I guess I'll leave it there. This has been a really unusual but fun episode of playing as Daisy. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for subscribing. As we go into 2 million, I thank God every day that we're able to do things like this, playing mods, doing things in our own way, all to make you smile, because that's all I want to do every single day. So I will see you in the next episode. We're probably doing something crazy, and I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, peace out, my dudes.